towards other areas of interest. His awards include Dr. Samuel Hanuman National Award in 2003, N.K. Jairam State Award in 2007, and Best Guest Lecturer Award in the year 2009. He was also selected for the Best Private Practitioner Award by the Government of Kerala in the year 2017. Sir, a benevolent personality, has adopted 165 HIV-affected children since 2005 and accommodates 103 junior doctors for training in his hospital. He always supports and fosters the young buds in homeopathy to take the best out of them and has published various articles in leading international and national homeopathic journals like The Homeopathic Heritage, his maiden book, The Symphony of Homeopathy. It was one of the best sellers of the BGN publishers in India. It is with immense pleasure I introduce Sir to this session and I also extend a warm welcome to all the attendees. Without much further ado, I would like to hand it over to Dr. S.G. Biju. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. it's audible, sir. Okay. So I think there is no uh, further formalities. We are directly entering into the subject proper. Uh, thank you very much for uh, starting this session in time. This is a rare occurrence. Uh, during the webinar, webinars and all other seminars, I would like to thank the organizers, the Students' Council of Alvas Homeopathy Medical College, Karnataka, for inviting me for a, uh, to such a such an August gathering uh, on this evening. So, uh, regarding hepatitis B, when I am talking about hepatitis B, I have to talk about my first case of hepatitis B. Why? Because it is uh, a signboard that lead me to achieve this much. This is not a, a great achievement. 5,000 cases case is not a, a great achievement, I, I know. My first case visited me exactly 20 years back, 20 years and one month back. Uh, that is on 20th of May 2000. Her name was Shiva. And she was suffering from hepatitis B. She was a lab technician and uh, one fine morning she reached at my hospital where i was working as a medical officer Red Cross homeopathic super specialty hospital kotem kerala there i was a medical officer and i heard about hepatitis b during my academic times at calicut government homeopathy medical college but that was the first time i am seeing a patient who is who has contracted hepatitis b uh, as I told you, she was a lab technician and she was about to move to UAE. Uh, and during the medical checkup, she was stamped as hepatitis B and uh, she couldn't move to UAE only because of this hepatitis B. Medically failed. That was uh, the case. And there is no symptom at all. Uh, that is really challenging. Uh, that is what Heinemann said one sided disease, not fully developed or no symptom at all. So that was a challenge for me. I took the case in detail uh, as I learned from, uh, from colleges and like that. And I prescribed Ambragesh, I think, in the, in the beginning, why? Because uh, ailments from death of loved ones, <laughs> like that, the, the symptom was taken. And grief was there, unfortunately, really something like that. And followed with Natramur. Anyway, after uh, the treatment was continuing. And uh, she won't become negative. Uh, after three months, uh, three months, I think, around three months. Unfortunately, he got pregnant. She was advised by her gynecologist and uh, general medicine physician not to get pregnant in, pregnant in between. Why? Because the immunoglobulins were, were not developed at that time. So once she, uh, she delivered a baby, she uh, or he will also uh, become hepatitis B. There is no option. And unfortunately, it happens. And she called me gave me some medicine for uh, induced abortion. That was her request. But I, I was not able to give the medicine as it is against uh, the nature. And I told her to move to any hospital and uh, do abortion there. Uh, actually, no hospital were ready to... Hello, sir. 
Prodenta was here 2000 to 2000. Okay. And the, the Prodenta was half delivered and the half Prodenta were inside her womb. She herself removed the Prodenta. Uh, sir, audio is getting stuck, sir. And the hospital staff told her to clean the table because there was a pool of bed and put the table under the sunlight. Even though we are putting uh, under the sunlight, the hepatitis B virus won't die. Hepatitis B virus will be there on the tabletop even after 25 years if there is a drop of blood spilt on your tabletop. It will be there. It doesn't need air, it doesn't need food, it doesn't need water, it doesn't need, need anything. It will be there for 25 years. This is the history uh, told. Okay. Anyway, uh, she was told to remove the table uh, and put it uh, under, the, under sunlight. She herself and her husband Simon together uh, they removed the table, they cleaned the table with the antiseptic, uh, antiseptics and they went back home. And I, I never uh, knowing all these things. On the next morning, uh, Mr. Simon contacted me over, over telephone and he told me that Sheila committed suicide yesterday night. My first patient committed suicide. And Simon was arrested for killing her killing his wife because there were injuries in the lower abdomen and he never revealed the fact that she is suffering from hepatitis B why because it, it was more dangerous than HIV at that time and people will uh, people won't come to them if they are telling like that and she went to jail also. it was a shocking uh, incident for a young home people like me I, I was only 20, at my 29 so and the next morning when I reached in, the, in my hospital, I was working as a medical officer, as I told you. And the hospital authorities told me that don't take hepatitis B cases further. Stop here. Why? Because you are the most unfortunate doctor and you are most unlucky doctor. So you are not supposed to take hepatitis B cases further. That will spoil the reputation of our hospital. That was the advice. I was really fed up. And on the next day, Usually our custom is, I will reach in the hospital by 7.30, 7.45 a.m. Why? Because I have to travel from a remote village, 40 kilometers. There are no, uh, not that much buses uh, at that time. So I have to get a uh, bus by 6.30, 6.30, then it will reach there by 7.30, uh, 7.45, according to the rush in the road. So usually I, I, I will reach in the hospital in the beginning. I will get in and I will check the, uh, the previous day's cases and today's poster case I will learn it and at 8 time uh, the sweeper will come then the attender will come then the pharmacist will come they will keep clean uh, the hospital and make arrangements then we will start the uh, start our uh, hospital by 8.30 that was a custom and after two days uh, that means after this incident next day uh, it was uh, as regular and on the next day when I reached there, the sweeper was there and the tender was there. Oh, I was so happy right? because uh, there are people. And uh, I entered into my role of duties and on the next day it is repeated. Again uh, on the third day. And after three, four days I told them, oh, you all become uh, very good duty oriented staff. You are reaching very early in the clinic and cleaning the clinic. And they shouted at me. It happened solely because of you. Why? Because the management told us to get into the uh, hospital before I am stepping into the uh, hospital. Why? Because I am the most unlucky man and the most unfortunate doctor. If I step into the hospital in the beginning of, of, of a day, the day will be spoiled. Because the most unfortunate man is stepping into the hospital every day morning. That will spoil the grace of our hospital. That is why we are uh, sacrificing. Uh, our children's need. Uh, we are not giving the breakfast to our children. We are not preparing our children kids to uh, go to the school. We are reaching here by 7:30 a.m. only because of you. That was they told me, and I told them, okay, no problem. Tomorrow onwards, I will reach uh, a little bit late. Uh, you you can reach as uh, as you did earlier. You may reach uh, reach at clinic by 7:45 or 8 a.m. I will wait there because I I, I don't have another option. There is only one bus. So 
uh, my my hospital is at uh, nagambadam kotayam there is a bridge nagambadam bridge this is the uh, the first end or the <coughs> or the proximal end of the uh, bridge the hospital is situated and the distal end the best stop is so i will get down in the best stop in the morning and look to look to my hospital and stand there for around 30 to 20 to 30 minutes and during this time i really felt very bad about me why because only because of a, of an unfortunate man like me the hospital staff has to sacrifice and i am the most unlucky man in the world so there is a river in between so while standing there for one or two months uh, the custom uh, is repeated so while standing there i took a decision these all things happen because of this dreadful disease so my enemy is not the hospital authorities my enemy is not the staff those who are reaching early in the uh, hospital like the sweeper or the attendant my enemy is actually the disease that disease put simon his uh, her husband in jail that take the life of shiva that is a feel so gradually i decided to fight against epidemic and one uh, one day then i was sitting uh, i was standing there our hospital secretary he was the secretary of uh, the hospital chairman actually he was the secretary of red cross red cross kote he was the uh, then vice president he is no more right now he is he was the vi- vice president of red cross society of india kerala chapter and when he uh, passed through the bridge it was a little bit, little bit earlier on that day he saw me i am standing there he suddenly t- took a u turn and stopped his vehicle uh, in front of me and he asked me why you are standing here uh, without going to the hospital i i literally i wept and i told him uh, this is this was what happened and uh, he was a generous man and he her, his daughter was suffering from hepatitis so she took uh, she he took care of me and uh, the recourse organized an exclusive hepatitis b camp on the next day and we got 30 cases and the journey started there as the as in the introduction uh, your coordinator told and now the journey what an end uh, to my journey in treating hepatitis b cases in 20th of uh, may 2020 and shared all the cases to my junior doctors i could cure by the grace of god and by the grace of homeopathy 5000 and old cases and there are uncured cases also so without saying this story if i move forward i am not showing just this to my first patient who is no more and who sacrifice her life for developing such a protocol on the treatment of hepatitis b so let us move forward i might have become little bit sentimental why <laughs> because it's quite natural uh, i went back to uh, went back 20 years i went 20 years back uh, to my first case whenever i am presenting uh, uh, when i whenever i am doing a presentation on hepatitis b i will go back to this case why because uh, that is a grace of uh, it, it is a mercy of that patient who died of hepatitis b so <laughs> alvas college i heard about uh, a lot about alvas college this is and i am not telling uh, uh, some bogus words uh, this is one of the famous colleges or the most uh, top ranking college in south india and a very good number of products from alvas college uh, has been working with me for the past 10 years around 5 years at least uh, dr anand malliya and dr safna ifaz she is a good trained lady and she is a good trainer she is a very good practitioner uh, she started a clinic at the heart of the city uh, at nilambur and she she is pra- she is practicing than anything uh, she is an expert in management of adhd and uh, very good number of cases she, she presented in our platform i like like this lot of uh, products the product is good uh, the quality of a, of a, of an institution 
uh, or, or a factory it will be decided upon the quality of the products so your products are very good i i, I felt it and i got it i appreciated it and i touched and uh, convinced it okay so uh, i am so happy to be here uh, i got an invitation from uh, your principal uh, pravin sir during the eu of uh, ayush conclave held uh, at rwanda the last year but unfortunately i couldn't reach there but i am so happy uh, at least this time i could reach uh, into the corridors of corridors of alvas college uh, that's by god's grace with uh, a treatment proto protocol on hepatitis b so and this is an evidence based treatment protocol on hepatitis b we will develop a protocol we have, we have been developed protocol for more than 13 diseases and now we are getting 10 units 10 units means one unit is 30 cases uh, when we cross 300 cases we will develop a protocol why because the protocol in certain conditions only certain diseases are coming this is our finding so once we find once we find out these are the medicines for this disease why why can't we share it with others why should we keep it as a secret uh, on on that uh, thinking on that line we started developing protocol some 15 years back this is my first protocol so you can see <coughs> i let do like think that this is beautifully uh, created by the god Uh, just like uh, our corona virus this is a virus this is not ledu this is a dreadful virus this is what called hepatitis b is and just see the structure of the virus <clears throat> why i am telling about the structure of the virus i am not going to teach you the, the entire uh, thing regarding the hepatitis b uh, that you will get it uh, from your academic uh, folder <clears throat> very good so the outer portion that is surface that is a surface there is a surface antigen and there is a core uh, a portion that is a core antigen and uh, from there the core antigen is coming while we are going for the investigation and all it should be in your mind and there is a dna inside that is what what we call dna piece these are the major three tests uh, apart from the viral load we are doing to convince or, or to confirm uh, hepatitis b okay so there is an outer shell there is a core and there is dna as usual okay this is the statistics of <coughs> hepatitis b <clears throat> out of every 100 people two people are hepatitis b seven is a statistics in bihar sorry uh, two is a statistics in bihar and seven is a statistics in kerala why kerala it is more uh, why because there are enough labs people are testing that is why they are knowing <clears throat> if you are testing 100 people are participating in this seminar i am sure that if if you are not tested so far if you are testing your blood out of this 100 two people will be definitely hepatitis b positive without knowing them they are positive so out of 1000 20 people and out of 10000 200 people okay and out of one like the the, the, the statistic is going like that so in kerala six core core people are there so 12 lakh people are positive in kerala remember that is why i told you during 5 5000 cases is nothing there are 12 lakh cases 12 lakh cases still almost 12 lakh so score means uh, uh, those are coming and going from kerala also 3 crore anyway 6 lakh people are positive in kerala only 5000 i i could uh, make negative so this is not a uh, great figure and 2 lakh a, a minimum of uh, 20 lakh 20 lakh people are positive or sorry 20 lakh it, it is 2 crore people are positive in india more than that because uh, it, it is more than 100 crore people are uh, the population is more than 100 uh, crore so 20 uh, 2 crore people are positive in india see the opportunity it is a widen opportunity if, if uh, there are there are only i think 6 like uh, to 10 like homeopathic doctors maybe like that or 10 like or 14 like so 2 crore people are uh, hepatitis b positive in india if you get ready to treat hepatitis b cases that is enough for uh, uh, feed the homeopathic doctors in india that is a statistics so you will never forget about it so all over the world one death every 2 minutes happening due to hepatitis b this is a stat more than that even more than that 
the recorded number of uh, statistical number of death due to hepatitis is one death every two minutes so when we are finishing our one and a half hour session on evidence based treatment protocol on homeopathic management of hepatitis b 45 people are alive right now but when we are finishing our session 45 people will will not be there in the this bed they will die in between during our session all over the world 45 people are going to die this is the importance of this disease you know the spread how it is spreading just like the hiv how how the hiv spreads like that and there is vertical transmission you can see the, in the third slide that there is a mother to child that is a vertical transmission transmission that is highly dangerous and nowadays it is uh, not happening why because the immunoglobulin they will give the immunoglobulin immediately after the delivery so a, a, a pregnant lady can very well uh, continue the pregnancy along with the hepatitis b so uh, using drugs ginger and the blood products uh, heterosexual homosexual and need split stick like hiv you know all this so these are the seven step treatment protocol this is uh, uh, the way we are developing protocol first one is inf investigation for confirmation we have to con con confirm that it is hepatitis b we have to confirm that it is an autoimmune disease we have to confirm that it is a uh, sld like that okay and drugs per as per the course of the disease in acute hepatitis b there may be rise of serum bell ruin there may be lot of symptoms there may be uh, yellow discoloration there may be uh, uh, bile in the urine that has to come down then then only we can convince the patient then only we can one the heart of the people so for that we are giving drugs the drugs means what the definition of drugs in according to our uh, uh, this protocol drug is a substance that can make a change in the body either in the biochemical or in the uh, physiological there must be a change it is guaranteed if you are after giving this uh, medicine substance there will be a change so to reduce the serology that is why, why we are using drugs and medicine for the disease medicine for the disease means a medicine that covers the whole symptomatology of uh, hepatitis b the symptomatology of hepatitis b or the symptomatology of uh, rheumatoid arthritis or the symptomatology of the ophthalmitis of the symptomatology of the ulcerative colitis like that in hepatitis b the medicine that covered the symptomatology of the hepatitis b that is a medicine for the disease and a remedy to prevent complications and recurrence Uh, there won't be any recurrence even after getting a negative there is chance of uh, developing zea uh, malignancy so we have to prevent and it, the, the prevention of the and, and the recurrence of the disease in the same manner or in, a, in any other form so there should be a remedy and the potency dosage and repetition when i am telling about a, a medicine i have to tell the potency the dosage and repetition then only uh, everybody can follow the same protocol and a logical philosophical guideline how how and why our medicines are working and how it it works i am not mentioning about the molecular level reaction of the medicine in the philosophical level why why uh, this medicine is acting in such a uh, condition why uh, this medicine is not acting that that too and how the medicine is acting and how the the miasmatic prescription uh, is justified in, in, in a case of hepatitis b like that and this, uh, the last one is an end point so we have to fix an end point while we are treating a case with the protocol usually the homeopathic treatment what about the main thing i observe is that either the patient should die or the doctor should die so we are continue the continue in the treatment and there is no end point we have to fix an end point in the beginning this is one of the success mantra i can tell you when you are starting practice see the see the beginning in the end so when you are starting a practice starting your practice we have to see the end in the beginning i will stop treating as of this i saw uh, uh, the beginning uh, the, the end in the beginning uh, i i deserve to stop treating after 10 years but after 20 years only i, I could stop treating hepatitis b cases so like that up to what level you are going to treat up to what date you are going to treat up to what moment you are going to treat so that you have to fix at the beginning then uh, there there will be focus uh, for treatment and patients also will be happy i am going to treat you only for 3 months if there is no relief we can uh, go for other treatment go for a better homeopathy or go for other system no problem like that it can be fixed uh, according to uh, your experience here i will tell you what is the end point so these are the seven steps of uh, uh, treatment protocol first one is investigation for confirmation and second one is drugs as per the course of the disease in between you can give medicine you will change the medicine 
I am not prescribing the single medicine in every case. And a medicine or medicines for hepatitis. What are the symptoms of hepatitis B? You know, you may learn it from Materia uh, Medica. Uh, so you may learn it from Tridisome Medicine. How we prescribe arsenic in COVID? We know the symptomatology of uh, COVID. That is why we prescribe. So that is a medicine for uh, COVID. Okay, I like that. So what are the symptomatology of hepatitis B? You know. So you are developing a medicine. And remedy to prevent complications and recurrence. You, you are not, not supposed to develop any complications or recurrence of the disease in the same manner or in uh, other manner after treatment. So we will find out a remedy that is a constitutional remedy. In between, uh, you are not supposed to, to stop treatment with the children only. So you have to find out a constitutional remedy to prevent the recurrence that I will tell you. And the potency dose and repetition, you know, and a philosophy of why, why and how it is working. And the last one is the most important one. That should be an end point. Okay. These are the target groups uh, of hepatitis B uh, in, uh, in my uh, practice. So this is happening in our clinic. Clinically, acute hepatitis B. So the, either there may be recovery. Usually what modern medicine people, they are telling there is no recovery at all. Uh, either there is recovery or it may end in death of the patient. As, as all the acute diseases uh, that we learned in our, our uh, organ, as all the <coughs> acute diseases there may be, uh, there can be recurrent recovery or uh, or end up with the death of the patient. So that is acute and chronic acute hepatitis. In some cases, the hepatitis will be there. There won't be any much symptom, won't be much pathology. But it, it will progressively increase. Progressively increase and there will be liver parenchymal changes, later on uh, liver degeneration and later on uh, hepatitis cirrhosis or uh, hepatocellular carcinoma or hepatic failure. It will take a long time. So we will get enough time to treat the cases in chronic acute hepatitis B cases. In acute hepatitis B cases, it is just like an emergency. We have to save the life of the, of the patient. And third one is HVV chronic carrier. This was the first case in which I failed, in which the, the patient committed suicide. It was a chronic carrier stage. There won't be any symptom at all. So that is what a one-sided disease, what Heinemann said, a disease with, without any symptom or without fully developed symptom. These are the three target groups you are going to face when you are start practicing, when you are going to treat hepatitis B cases. So first of all, the investigation for confirmation. You know all these things, serum bilirubin, total direct, SGPT, SGOT, and HBSAG. Now, uh, did I mistake a lot of people while they are writing HBO and HBO and C, they, they will write because we are used with HBO and C. It, there is no relation with the HBO and C and HBSAG. The HBO and C is a test for uh, diabetes, you know, and HBSAG. S stands for surface, AG for antigen. So, this is surface antigen. There is CAR test. So, just like the pregnancy test, you can uh, find out whether the patient is HBSG positive or not by spilling the blood on the card. So, that is a card test and ELISA for quantitative. This is what we are following because it is cheap. It is only a matter of 300 rupees. Uh, and ELISA quantitative test will get. So, whether the quantity is reducing or not. It is a surface antigen. Remember, it is a surface antigen. I am not going to talk much about the SGP and this duty because all of you know. And alkaline phosphate is albumin globulin AG ratio. Okay, AG ratio and alkaline. That, that too, you know. And gamma GT. Uh, all these things we are doing in the chronic active hepatitis and active hepatitis B cases. And generally in all cases. And gamma GT. Gamma GT is a gamma group time in transaminase to find out whether the serotic changes started in the liver. That is gamma GT. 50 is normal. And uh, up to two, 250, uh, um, above 250, it is highly dangerous. And alpha fetoprotein, you know, is a tumor marker whether it turns to malignancy. Uh, to know whether it is turned to malignancy, alpha fetoprotein 5 is normal. And platelet count. Platelet count, it is a predominant, it is a premonitory symptom of uh, serotic changes. If the platelet count is steadily reduced, uh, that means the liver is not properly working. Why? Because the platelets are produced from bone marrow as well as from the spleen, okay? And when the liver is damaged, a, a, the duty of, the, a, a part of or, or a portion of the duty of liver has been taken by spleen. So spleen couldn't produce uh, the desired amount of platelets from the, uh, from the splenic part. So that is a reduction. <clears throat> so when the platelet count is reduced, 
so that means the, the degeneration started in the liver so you have to send the patient for fibro scan is a, is a bet, best scan or or a or an ultrasound scan or for and the send patient for further investigation and prothrombin type prothrombin type that's a bleeding prothrombin is produced is a uh, protein enzyme it is produced from the liver vitamin k is also produced from the liver so uh, the prothrombin time will be prolonged that means the enough prothrombin is not producing from the liver so liver is damaged these are the basic investigation that we are doing uh, in our clinic uh, for treating hepatitis b cases okay and this is the thing this is so simple you can learn it very well all the ags are antigen hbsag you so uh, i think you remember the outer coverage of the uh, of the uh, virus that is the antigen produced from the cover that is hbsag and hbcag cag means is from the core this is core antigen hbcag and hbeag what is hbeag it is an envelope antigen envelope antigen means there is viral replication so when you are treating a case of hepatitis b after two months the hbeag was positive okay take it like that hbeag was positive and after two months it become negative don't think that it is because of our medicine it will become negative within two months naturally it will become negative even without medicine it will become negative in certain cases it will cause only only a, a, a negligible percentage of cases it will persist if it persists that is a danger sign why because there is every chance of uh, you are going to get in, infected <laughs> why because they are highly infected this is one thing and in vertical transmission vertical transmission you know if it is happening from mother to the child this hbeag will be positive for years and there is more chance almost 100% chance of uh, getting hepatocellular carcinoma for such, such patients those who are having vertical transmission with hbeag positive for a continuous period so envelope antigen that, that hbeag is if it is positive for a long time uh give anti cancer treatment this is an indication for anti cancer treatment and hbsag that is what we are uh, usually doing hbcag also you can do and the antibodies so while we are treating there is absolutely no, no need of antibodies while we are treating but the if the antibodies are producing okay uh, if the antibodies are producing that is a good sign so this antibodies are producing inside the body to help the system actually these are the antibodies are good and that is against the surface antigen that is hb anti hb sag and against the core antigen anti hb cag and even anti hb eag produced so that is a good say so on on one side uh, surface uh, antigens and the other side antibody okay then elisa hb sag quantitative that is what we are doing hb sag surface antigen quantitative test because we can find out the improvement of the case for the follow up of the cases uh, you can do elisa hbcg quantitative it is uh, see and dna pcr everybody is doing dna pcr even uh, in covid cases we are doing uh, can you hear me yes sir it's audible sir okay, okay. so uh, even in covid uh, what happened is in kerala uh, because we are uh, we took the uh, the honor of Uh, getting the first corona case in in india so even after 40 days uh, this covid is positive covid <laughs> pcr is positive uh, what a nonsense you you think so again the, the government was in dilemma it is too costly uh, first we decided to uh, leave the patient from the hospital after three negative results so in some patients they are not getting the the negative results and they are they are kept <laughs> under observation in hospital what a positive situation the dna pcr is positive that means even after the death of virus the PSR, pcr will be positive but we are taking uh, in, in forensic medicine and all to find out the dna even from the dead people we are taking the bond a sample of the bond and the dna will, will be positive we are checking cross matching it with the relatives dna like that even after death of the virus the dna will be positive dna pcr will be positive 
and finally government recognized it now now there is no test and talk uh, if symptoms are okay they can go uh, they will leave from the hospital and house quarantine there we are reaching to house quarantine so this is the the uh, the comedy regarding dna pcr if somebody is doing the dna pcr and if at all the virus is alive then again the dna pcr it will be positive that means dna pcr positive doesn't mean that the patient is carrying virus and dna pcr negative doesn't mean that patient is cured uh, so it is a money making uh, uh, investigation i would like to say okay and viral load that is good that is the best investigation but it is too costly 9000 rupees is a cost in uh, kerala and 4500 is uh, the cost when uh, we are referring from our hospital why because 50% is the commission of the doctor uh, 50% that is 4500 rupees is commission of the patient and they are doing it for 4500 rupees those who are uh, wealthy enough to do the test you can send for uh, viral load these are the tests uh, that we have to perform to confirm the diagnosis of the cases okay so management protocol let us uh, step into the management protocol of the acute hepatitis b so this is our basic protocol one is pathology prescription that is enough why because what is the what are the changes happening in the liver uh, we can prescribe according to the pathology then we can uh, bring down the, the serology bring down the pathology and reverse the pathology very easily and drugs as you, as i told you earlier uh, to reduce the serology to reduce the symptoms like itching vomiting uh, allergies uh, or aversion to food like that so to reduce the symptoms to reduce the serology and the totality of symptoms uh, i know if i ask if you open the uh, the chat box everybody will tell chelidonium uh, i am also prescribing chelidonium don't worry uh, so the medicine that covered the symptom totality of the hepatitis b that is why the uh, chelidonium was the most prescribed remedy in hepatitis b and it uh, baptisia is the most prescribed remedy in uh, typhoid why because it covers the symptomatology of uh, typhoid and like that Uh, Chilonic covers the symptomatology of uh, uh, this hepatitis B. That is why uh, the medicines are coming. Like not only Chilonic, but also a lot of medicines are there. And in acute hepatitis, we are selecting plants. Why, why? What is the reason for selecting plants? That I will explain later. Okay. So uh, evidence-based uh, documentation. If you start documenting cases, out of the uh, this five thousand and odd cases. i think i, I treated more than 9000 cases we tear away and and throw away a lot of results which is below serum volume below 20 so it will be considered as a self limiting disease if at all we are producing uh, in seminars and all uh, no modern medicine people no science, scientists will admit that it is because of our uh, medicine so we have to set certain parameters of our treatment also so uh document cases of serum bell movement about 20 only other, other documents we can keep but uh, don't spoil, spoil it but uh, it will be counted it will it will place on records and consider meld score about 20 don't get afraid by hearing the nine meld score it is a model for end stage liver disease nowadays uh, this meld score is considered for liver transplants in india uh, the gastroenterologists are trying to Uh, bring down the meld score to 40 that is international standard if the meld score is what this is a calculation regarding the uh, renal function and liver function that is all so the meld score if it is more than 20 they can very well advise the patient for transplantation they are trying to conduct transplantation than anything in india so so meld score uh, above 20 so 20 is a, a parameter 20 serum volume and meld score above 20 that will place on records my my dear and get counter signed by a, uh, as much as possible what is a counter sign that means a diagnosis case from a modern medical man a, a, a case that is advised for liver uh, transplantation a, a case that is advised for uh, other surgeries like uh, ligation uh, therapy lot of surgeries are there and lot of medicines are so that we should get get it counter signed by the modern medicine people as much as possible so these are the Uh, pathological prescription to reduce the serum bell curve these are the medicines that we are using regularly for these are the uh, most prescribed remedy these remedies for the drugs gives uh, much result chelidonium tincture calmex tincture to 6 chionanthus tincture or chionanthus tincture bryonia 200 and leptandra 30 these are the medicines this is my experience what i am sharing with you 
these are the medicines for as a pathological prescription to reduce the serology to reduce the serum bilirubin okay and uh, drugs for jaundice okay uh, the, to reduce the symptomatology if it is, if there is diarrhea during jaundice uh, like opposite tincture we are prescribing only one or two drops not prescribe much dose much uh, drops and weakness during jaundice tarasacum picric acid and uh, ferrum picric these are the three uh, drugs to reduce the weakness of the, of uh, jaundice to reduce the diarrhea of jaundice like opposite and uh, drugs for jaundice uh, chilodonium anum i am telling about chilodonium anum in certain cases uh, the cases are admitted in the hospital and the patient will be in icu the blood brain barrier uh, may be broken so it is a uh, ictrus uh, uh, what we call uh, the thrombolytic crosses the blood brain barrier and uh, encephalopathy uh, start that is hepatic encephalopathy yeah? that is hepatic encephalopathy so patient may be unconscious and chilodonium tenum or the most uh, available hypotensive uh, hypotensive you can smell it i i heard a, a very good number of cases from the saved very good number of cases from the icu uh, or you can uh, just rub it on the on, on behind the ear and uh, in alcohol uh, okay so uh, this children in hypotensive uh, in, in stupor and unconscious state in advanced cases okay don't prescribe the mathenger in such cases because it is in the higher center the problem is in the higher center so the potency should be higher and corona sinata eruption with the jaundice eruption not, not itching it is eruption eruptions on the uh, skin and after also uh, during jaundice and calm cyanandas so or cyanandas both are same indications cyanandas american is uh, exporting it is an important medicine and cyanandas is an indian medicine and cardas marianas mother tincture to cyanobacteria the indications are calm tincture was success when liver enzymes increase uh, sgpt sgpt etc are increased and One is to ten ratio with the serum bilirubin. That is, if serum bilirubin is one, okay, uh, into ten, uh, that means that means uh, the SGPT or SGOT. SGPT is more important than SGP SGOT. SGOT or SGPT can go up to hundred. If it is two, it can go up to two two hundred. If the serum bilirubin is three, it can go up to three uh, hundred. If this ratio is maintained, then calmer. tinger or six potency and cyanandas and cyanandas okay when uh, hepatosplenomegaly spleen is also a large you can get it uh, by palpation or uh, you may get it in scanning and with anemia anemia that is an uh, additional indication for cyanandas or cyanandas cardas marianas it is better to prescribe in uh, uh, millisimal potencies it is better to avoid mother tinges as much as possible in in case of acute uh viral hepatitis whether it is b or c or a uh, it is better to avoid mother tinges and uh, portal hypertension is the indication so uh, there will be ligation there are some there is scapling of the uh, esophageal varices like that to reduce the esophageal varices and portal hypertension uh, you will get it in scanning portal congestion you may get it okay so medicines are the proven drugs proven drugs some medicines uh, covered the symptomatology of hepatitis b that is why we are uh, prescribing medicine this is we call prepaid medicine that is what we are doing in our telephone and all it is already pay, already paid it gives result already served us uh, in lot of cases there are uh, ever so many medicines like that and we selected the top ranking medicines so this will be enough and uh, we are giving uh, five to six medicines on the table top of our junior doctors they can select the best out of this why because these have these medicines have very good track record they cured a lot of uh, cases a very good number of cases that is why the medicines are prescribed okay so leptandra leptandra the jaundice with the black stools this is indication La black stools black colored stools and uh, doubtful about about recovery this is a common presentation uh, hepatitis b because if you are searching in net if you are uh, google uh, for uh, hepatitis b we are uh, now we are uh, going to uh, impart a de googling charge in our play why because people are searching google and they know a lot of things than us and most of things are false they are studied in google colleges so they are doubtful about recovery uh, are the additional indication of leptandra leptandra this is the additional indication of leptandra and dolicos a uh, carrier get aggravated during pregnancy 
unless and otherwise there were no jaundice at all but when the patient get got pregnant started jaundice or started symptoms so itching uh, and white stools are additional and sleeplessness are the additional indication of tolicos this is a medicine for uh, hepatitis b for hep for all hepatitis okay if you want to make ebh uh, evidence based rheumatoid hepatitis b then counter counter sign your cases that is a better option that is move to the cases okay i am not going to show all the 5000 cases to you within uh, one hour or within a day i, I, I can't make it happen it is with me uh, you may check it okay so it was a case uh, rajama if this oh, why i am telling the name of this patient i could uh, i got consent from these patients to publish their publish their name they are ready to give the testimonial at anywhere and everywhere so because all all of them are still alive uh, they are so happy to give the testimonial that is why i am publishing the name i got the uh, written consent and the video consent uh, of the patient okay it was treated at the medical college hbsg positive viral hepatitis hbsg positive and uh, SGPT was 2020, okay, 2020, and they they were planning for a transplantation and referring the case uh, to a hair center. And the serum bell rubin, uh, when I checked the serum bell rubin, it was 26, 26, about 20. Uh, it's a highly dangerous condition. Still, it is a highly highly dangerous condition. If it is more than 10, they they will refer the cases to a higher center. Even in Kerala, they they will refer the cases to a higher center, and patient won't go to a higher center. They will go for other system i use system of, of of medicines and my dear friends i would like to tell you a, a, a happy news the post covid era will be uh, of technology like uh, education to the technology and the second important uh, sector uh, those who are going to benefit in the post covid era will be i use system you take it from me it was a survey and the the result will be published soon so people will move to ayur system thereafter okay so after few doses of leptranda i told about leptranda uh, doubtful about, about recovery was the symptom and uh, serum belrubin comes down to 20 okay again repeat it okay after few days uh, it comes down to 20 from 26 to 20 then it is repeat run after 25 days it become normal that is serum belrubin one only and uh, within a couple of days serum belrubin become point 8 and hbsg 90 this is the end of a case so only one medicine that is leptranda uh, was prescribed in this case uh, <coughs> the the basic symptom was doubtful about recovery that was a created symptom uh, it is not there in uh, in that patient right now but it is a created symptom that is a sector and totality anyway that is enough for managing a hepatitis b case okay another case <coughs> this case was treated by modern medicine uh, 26.2 the time was 26.2 and the stpt 1170 uh, i was not there doctor she was treated <coughs> she was an ardent believer of modern medicine also why because her uh, daughter was a nurse head nurse so she continued treatment in the modern medicine and it was raised to 35.52 so the scientific system that is what the the system or the or the nurse head nurse uh, of not had this uh, 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 nursing staff of her mother along with the had this told that don't run after the unscientific methods for treating hepatitis b like disease because it's a dreadful disease so you have to admit in the medical college hospital and treat and after the scientific treatment from 26 it has raised to 35.52 and serum value will direct 24.4 okay so they give up the case why because it is about to transplant so they couldn't perform transplant why because patient is too weak financially and physically so it's a matter of 20 lakhs to 30 lakhs for a transplantation so uh, some of their relatives are my, our, our patient and they told them so right now this is a time for starting home uh, treatment this is what is happening i, I am uh, always encouraging and uh, always welcoming Uh, in in the terminal stage patient won't reach a, uh, to a home visit doctor in the beginning they will reach to a home visit doctor in the terminal stage let them reach the, at the terminal stage then only we can prove that our system is effective and more effective than the, the modern medicine otherwise if the patient reaches that me before uh, the serum bell rubin raising to 20 and if i treat and cure the case that won't place on records my dear friends 
they have to kneel before the disease they have to tell that there is no treatment at all they have to tell that the only possible thing is transplantation they have to tell that even after transplantation nothing is going to happen and the transplantation is impossible and our system wouldn't do anything we are totally helpless let them say first and we will get the counter saint result and this case uh, we started uh, start a treatment with mother tinger only mother tinger only treated with mother tinger only pain of agile with anemia that's why that was finding unable to lie on left side that was the symptom see on the same area tinger was there only one or two drops gradually increased so then at that time uh, after five years we fixed a, a, a parameter or a, or a criteria so we have to uh, overtake the modern medicine in kerala there is tough fight still tough uh, tough fight it is a, a, a friendship fight uh, like that okay so uh, serum bell rubin reduction day rate this is what we fix in uh, our hospital is an iso certified hospital so we uh, fix a norm if you are treating and curing a case of hepatitis b if we have to say that it's a cure a minimum of serum bell rubin 1 serum bell rubin 1 has to reduce uh, every day every two day okay so if it is serum bell rubin 5 after 10 days it has to come down okay it it has to come down okay one uh, okay so that was uh, that is our our uh, criteria in, in first uh, five years and after five five years we raised our scale there is nobody to challenge us there is no modern medicine is challenging no no ayurveda is challenging us so we started challenging ourselves so if there is nobody to challenge you you have to challenge yourself and challenge your rest days challenge your todays that was our our status uh, and we took uh, we we make it another uh, uh, another parameter like that every day serum bell rubin has to reduce one so if it is five it has to come down to one within five days this is our strategy so we pressurize ourselves to find out the exact remedy to find out a better remedy that is why i i told you these are the medicines okay uh, ekonomogesh please be positive so you are asking for about some other cases i will answer the, at the end of the session okay so in case of cerebral ruin so in this case 35.5 so we, we fixed the date i told you in the beginning that the end point see the end in the beginning so we fixed that after 71 days it has to come down from there onwards we are doing like that and we will tell it to the patient uh, like that too so it will become negative within uh, 71 days for a patient who is checked out actually who is given up uh, from a, a modern medicine hospital saying that it has to be transplanted uh, transplanted uh, it has to go, go for a transplantation and even after transplantation uh, there is no scope at all and even transplantation is impossible so 35.5 serum bell rubin so our, our what we fix it uh, at that time it was 2 days so 71 days we will get according to the uh, first parameters uh, according to the first uh, criteria we will get 71 days so exactly after 56 days 56 days the serum bell rubin comes down to 1.5 is from 35 to 1.5 and serum bell rubin direct 5 so it was on 24 uh, 25 uh, march 2004 so hepatitis b also become negative or hiv c also become negative okay this patient is still alive they are ready for a testimony at any place so ever so many cases are like that so i i just show you or not to get this is what what we are uh, talking right now is about uh acute hepatitis b so these are the medicine found out uh, in our uh, treatment chelidoni tinger calvert tinger to 6 myrica tinger cardas marianas tinger up to 30 and 0 by 3 to 0 by 6 and bryonia 200 nicopodium 0 by 3 naxomica 200 sionathus mother tinger digitalis 30 and podophyllum 30 these are the medicines are the, all are plants okay all our plants take it into your heart okay o- almost all the most effective remedies uh, or drugs what 
so somebody is asking cases i will answer uh, at the end of the uh, session okay so uh, all our plans so this is a finding and this is what we are experiencing in kerala in chikungunya hypotorium was the hero in mums uh, palsal and jabarandi or the pilocarpus were the heroes and chikambo rustox was the hero still the, the aseclave developed uh, okay now patients are running up for aseclave and measles palsadla and conjunctivitis is euphrasia pelrona and hepatitis a nexomica and dengue fever again cupitorum perforatum all these are plants so we reached in the conclusion that for viral diseases plants are more effective this is our conclusion okay so whenever we are getting a chance to treat a treat an acute case of viral infection we will definitely give a weighted to the uh, plants so acute hepatitis b and other other viral infections are to be treated with anti soric plant remedies this is a conclusion in treating the hepatitis b cases uh, i am not insisting uh, you to give the same medicine you can you may select an anti soric plant remedy that will give uh, a rapid result rapid cure so let us move to the second category chronic active hepatitis or chronic active hepatitis you know so the uh, the serum bilirubin will be increased but not that much the enzymes will be increased but not that much but it will progressively increase progressively increase and end up with the hepatic failure either in hepatic failure or cirrhosis either in cirrhosis of liver hepatocellular carcinoma and end up with the hepatic failure so this is a chronic active hepatitis b case as earlier uh, we are doing the cpt spt alkaline phosphatase gamma glutamine transaminase uh, for what for uh, diagnosing the cirrhosis of the liver and another uh, alpha fetoprotein i told you and an additional investigation is serum ferritin if there is black discoloration or brown discoloration of the face and all uh, it is better to uh, send for serum ferritin that is an deposition and should be investigated at time to time for the uh, to know the improvement also so if the platelet count as i told you earlier platelet count is reduced magnoria tica because it is a progressive disease and if serum ferritin peltori 30 repeated doses and prothrombin type crotalus horridus repeated doses and ctbt inr that is regarding the uh, this prothrombin uh, or the clotting time and bleeding time so the, the enzymes are not properly producing the liver the phosphorus and the crotalus horridus are the medicine for ctbt clotting time bleeding time and inr and anti histoplasm and it is a rare condition i treat only three two cases there may be a chance of uh this histoplasmosis in the liver there may be uh, in the, the sign of histoplasmosis is that there will be calcification in the spleen if there is calcification in the spleen that may be a case of histo histoplasmosis toja uh, vannam and podophyllin 6 it is quite difficult to manage a case of histoplasmosis but i got three cases and cured also so treatment protocol for chronic active hepatitis b so <clears throat> pathological prescription again why because the pathology is progressively increasing inside so we have to give the give a pathological prescription when when you are giving a pathological prescription in a progressive disease not only in case of hepatitis b in almost all of the progressive pathological diseases it is better to give ascending potency start from the lower potency gradually increase the potency and uh, as we increase the potency the pathology will reverse so this is uh, evident in in cases and and the civilizing medicines why because the degeneration is happening the liver degeneration is happening degeneration is the peak of uh, civilizing medicine uh, i think you you may remember uh, in, in seven steps of the uh, this developing protocol there is a, a statement that logical philosophical guidance why you are prescribing an anti civilizing remedy why because there is degeneration and destruction this is a theme of uh, civilizing medicine and medicines the medicines i i should underline the medicines why because the medicines that covered the totality of symptoms so in chronic active hepatitis when we are taking the totality of symptoms when you are taking the pathological totality of symptoms when you are taking the present complaints almost all the cases the symptoms will be same in 100% of the cases the pathology will be same so we can select a remedy or a medicine for the chronic active hepatitis b cases by seeing the pathological symptoms similar pathological symptoms or the same pathological symptoms there is no uncertainty at all uh, in in the in the degeneration in the fibrosis uh, in the hepatocyte uh, damage in the port development of portal congestion 
in a very cases it is happening so we can select a medicine according to the pathology of the hepatitis b happening in the liver so that will be a medicine so the same medicine will be effective to to reverse the pathology in a major number of cases in majority of cases so we will uh, we can reach into conclusion that these medicine or the these uh, medicine for the hepatitis b are enough for managing hepatitis b in all over the world by all, by all the homeopathic doctors there is no need of a single homeopathic doctor who is specialized in hepatitis b a very homeopathic doctor can do it so this is our ultimate aim. if everybody is doing uh, hepatitis b cases so the two crore cases we can make like so this is the need of them then the nation will accept it if somebody is sitting somewhere like a chennai city and treating 5000 cases it is negligible my dear, my dear friends two crore people are suffering from hepatitis b if somebody is curing 5000 cases it is negligible nobody will take, take care of it nobody will consider it it won't place on record so if anybody is doing that is well and good and minerals why the medicines from the minerals why because it is a structural change the minerals are for structures you can draw it in structures uh, I, I was not fond about the structures ch hoh uh, and i was I, always hating this, this structures why because one of my chemistry teacher was a, a, a nun she was always against me so i, I am against the chemistry at, uh, from that time onwards anyway so it is a structural change if you get three medicines or four medicines Select the mineral remedy from uh, uh, from your appetizers or, or from your constitutional considerations. This is better to select the mineral remedies. These are the basic tools for treatment of chronic acute hepatitis B. So these are our most uh, effective medicines. Increase so that the IRA shows increase as GPT, Marsol, and increase as GOT, Marcor. 30 BD. The dose is there. Marsol 200 BD. 30 BD. Every week we have to check. And it has to come down. Alkaline phosphate is lauric acid 30 TDS. That has to be given TDS. And gamma GT rays, orum, morum, natural, natural, 30 TDS. And alpha fetoprotein that denotes malignancy. Cadmium salt 30 BD. And serum ferritin, feltori 30 TD. So this is our protocol in treating the chronic active uh, hepatitis B in pathological level. So the, the symptoms are uh, never change. So it is common. So there is no uncertainty in the in the center. There is no uncertainty. The, these symptoms are certain. The the, uh, the given liver parenchymal changes are certain. Uh, hepatitis is certain. Water congestion is certain. Fibrosis is certain. Uh, or uh, esophageal varices is certain. So there, there there won't be any in the air. Very case it is happening, and we can find out a, a similimum on the basis of this certainty. So uh, why uh, we are reaching into conclusion and telling to others that you prescribe these medicines for the reversal of pathology. It is because of the certainty of the pathology. It is because of the certainty of the medicine. It is because of the certainty of the, of the result that we observed for the past 20 years. So that is what we are sharing. So if there is headache during jaundice, sepia, one of my prescribing because headache is in the higher level. One dose is in it. Itching during jaundice. Dolicos, I told you earlier, a parcel is in, in chronic active hepatitis, dolicos won't work. It will work for a few days. In chronic active hepatitis, uh, a parcel is working. And white coating of the tongue with the jaundice, that is Marsol, 200 is enough. And if a G ratio is altered. So, Z, the albumin global ratio is altered. What, what it is actually, it is an incoordination. So, albumin and global is going in, 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 a, in a coordinator manner. So, the coordination has been ha uh, happened. So, all incoordinations are pointed towards, towards psychoticness. It is towards psychoticness. So, acid picturicum can give up to 30. It is an yellow substance, you can see in the picture. So, yellow is the sign of, is the color of psychosis too. Okay. I am not going to the, that part of uh, uh, this. Uh, Philosophy and all, or or and all. It's a different subject. Anyway, uh, this uh, as a picaricum is working very well in when the AG ratio is altered. This AG ratio altered is, is certain in all the cases if, if you keep off our hands for a, for a long time. AG ratio will be altered uh, later on. So sim, uh, at symptomatic level, as a picaricum is a medicine for weakness in jaundice. So dolicos is also having weakness, but all acids are well known for weaknesses. So it is better to select a, a, a mineral 
when the disease is chronic active because it is a progressively increasing disease but it, when, when it is in the in the acute stage acute hepatitis you can think about a plant like dolichos or, or something like that but it, it is a chronic active so the so the pathology is actually progressing and the structural changes uh, are, are happening so it is better to select as a picrium especially where there is progressive weakness and anti civilitic remedies progressive degenerative changes will lead to total destruction so anti civilitic so the selected remedy should be an anti civilitic prominent one so selected remedy should be an anti civilitic prominent one uh, there is no uh, single miasm uh, medicine this is a uh, philosophical guideline in management of hepatitis b cases okay so birth sol liver parenchymal changes in scanning you, you may get a, a report like that liver parenchymal changes and kali iodide I, i saw a lot of cases those who are having alcoholism uh, too they will crack jokes even during the even at the uh, in a singing stage they may be told by the uh, by the hepatologist to transplant the liver you want to uh, then again they are uh, cracking jokes uh, then again they are uh, enjoying so that is kali iodide kali iodide uh, is a uh, it's an anti civilitic remedy and kali iodide is a degenerative remedy and the additional indication is they are just tea they are cracking jokes they they take took it as a uh, uh, as a comedy <laughs> like that uh, one of the patient uh, was told by his uh, hepatologist that it is only a matter of one crore one crore to transplant your liver i will show you the video of that patient it is it's only a matter of one crore for uh, the for transplanting your liver and to maintain uh, uh, the post transplantation expenses and all so sell your uh, seven acre land and uh, transplant your liver and this man the, the, the crore in in kerala it is called kodi and uh, the white sheet that we are covering the cadaver that is also called kodi so uh this one crore is for uh, my daughter my my sublix my dear daughter so i like that crore what we what is the kodi that cover the that body so i am ready to die that is what he told to uh, his doctor he was given kaliyadid in the beginning and later on uh, the short course was okay so uh, that is kaliyadid and oram varam natrum natrum that is de- degenerative liver disease and apart from the parenchymal changes there is regeneration the starting fatty in- infiltration like so you will see in the, in the lab reports and all so acid acetic acid sleeplessness during chronic hepatitis so patient won't sleep so there won't be any other other reason for sleeplessness so sleeplessness during jaundice so treating hepatitis won't help you to win the heart of the people so try to treat hepatitis b also it is the the protocol for hepatitis b and hepatitis a in acute hepatitis and hepatitis uh, chronic active hepatitis same the same thing what we are doing for hepatitis b the same thing that we are doing for hepatitis b2 okay so this is a chronic active hepatitis case slowly increasing for the last three years and gradually it increases from 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 uh, to 5 5 to 6 uh, 6 to 7 and uh, she was under ayurveda treatment in between she stopped modern medicine treatment and switched out to ayurveda treatment then again it is gradually increasing and serum bilirubin was 10.6 it is not an acute emergency because it gradually and patient is not much uh, not that much symptoms right? because she get acquainted with the, the condition and it is slowly increasing and there is there are uh, yellow discoloration and uh, of, of the sclera and the urine like that so after acid pickrium weakness and yellow staining of the perspiration when I, when she reached at my clinic she put a paper white paper uh, under her arms and she showed me so sir this is a condition wherever i, I am placing my hand it will stay you know and there were weakness also she there is only one symptom that is weakness you know the staining of the of acid bacteria when when you did your plus 2 uh, lab the chemistry lab if it stains on your uh, dress it won't go it won't go even after washing after 1000 times washing it won't go this is a, a, a medicinal signature of homeopathy of uh, this acid bacteria and there is sleep uh, sleepiness also okay weakness and yellow staining of, of the perspiration she was given acid bacteria and after 18 days gradually increased for 
by uh, one year uh, to two, two to three years, it reaches up to ten. And within eighteen days, that comes down to one point three. And after few doses of acid, we can come to one. We raise the potency. As the progressive disease, the potency should also increase. That is what I told you. And HBSG become negative, and serum bilirubin become point nine. Okay, so we want no, 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 no one dose at all. Why? Because when we are giving one dose. If the patient is asepicrium, the similarity of the asepicrium is only on her symptomatology, only on the symptomatology of the disease. The yellow staining will definitely go when the jaundice is over. That was a good question. Yellow staining of the jaundice will go whenever C become negative. The weakness will go when the hepatitis B is over. So there won't be any remnants of the uh, this asepicrium after the Uh, after uh, she become negative uh, after the vanishing the disease so this is not a constitutional remedy i prescribe the asepicrium as a constitutional remedy to other patient uh, who is not having the hepatitis b and he he was having a delusion delusion he was like that when i when whenever i am going to sleep my hands will go grow and it will grow than anything and it will touch on the cloud and on that moment i will wake there is a, a rubric like that i told uh, that rubric in the uh, in the uh, repertory series uh, webinar done by isk so that was a, a delusion he was having sleeplessness actually for 18 years and he slept with one dose of asepicrium at that time that may be almost a constitutional remedy but in this case it is not a constitutional remedy we are prescribing a medicine uh, not a remedy it's a medicine only it's a medicine for the hepatitis b only There is no guarantee or no warranty uh, if she is having migraine to day after tomorrow. This asepicrium won't work. It is a, a, a special protocol for hepatitis B only with the uh, yellow staining uh, as well as the sleepiness. Okay, I think you got. So it is repeated. PD. Then uh, after 200, uh, it becomes negative. Okay, chronic active hepatitis. Uh, start with the maxol. There is no symptom at all. Uh, SCPT was uh, serum will be normal. And SCPT three not one. It's a simple case, and according to the protocol we treated. That is why I showed this case. Uh, Marsal was given after thirty-five days. Belshubin uh, with normal SCPT one ninety-two, three hundred something down to one ninety-two. SCPT seventy-three, and HBCG is still positive. So our at what I will answer the questions later on. And HBCG is still positive. Switch over to constitutional mineral and disability. So. Here the marsol is not working. Why? Because the even though the SCPT uh, is coming down, we fix the date. Seventy-two days is uh, is is a fixed days for uh, days for chronic IT hepatitis B. So after seventy-two days, there is no treatment at all. So it is time to switch over to uh, switch over to constitutional remedy. And we took the case in detail. And uh, these are the symptoms: contradiction, intolerance of despair, recovery of that's a common rubric in hepatitis B cases, and fear, cancer of. Okay, people will threaten them. Maybe if you, if they search in the Google, definitely they will end up with the cancer and fear, cancer and indiscretion. Indiscretion means she know that these are, these things are not good for the, her liver, but then again she will take what are things that damage her liver. She will take. She will take the fried items. She will take the cold asper. She will take the preserved food. She will take anything and everything. And there is no absolutely no rest at all. And everything she is taking. Okay, that was a that was a key symptom in the in this case. Indiscretion. Indiscretion means circumspection, lack of. They don't know what is going to happen. They know what is going to happen. Then again, they were they were heedless about what they are doing. That is circumspection, like when inflammation liver, family so diabetes, mental, then the food and things, some things are like that. Okay, anyway, uh, our protocol, according to our protocol, we have to select a mineral remedy because it is a chronic active hepatitis, and preferably an anti-civility remedy. So the nearest, uh, the nearest mineral anti-civility remedy, like a podium, is it is a fungus actually. Uh, it is not a plant; it is a fungus. Sulfur is a mineral remedy, but not anti-civility. There may be a little bit trait of uh, civilis in in sulfur too. Sepia, so predominantly psychotic, I think. Some civility symptoms are also, and it is a uh, it is an animal, not a uh, mineral. And the nearest mineral remedy was uh, and civilitic too. One part anti-tubercular, uh, uh, almost anti-tubercular beta carbis, 
and more, more civility symptoms so and indiscretion it was covered with the uh, tumor so the first remedy that covered tumor indiscretion were retacarb naxomic as a plant and uh, natrum uh, it's a mineral uh, arsenic is resin cover that key rubble that is mind indiscretion or circumspection lack of uh, without even uh, she knows uh, these things <coughs> will make the things worse then again uh, they are taking it they are they are having a font of uh, such food so baritacar was prescribed in this case and after 13 days uh, in frequent repetition because we are not frequently repeat, repeating why because it is uh, reaching into the core of the patient not not according to symptom. the baritacar doesn't cover the symptomatology the baritacar doesn't cover the pathology of the case Uh, the, uh, that i told you earlier uh, a never changing uh, 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 static or or the common symptom in all the cases uh, a, a pathological symptom that is not we, we are considering we are considering the core of the patient we are considering the constitution of the patient so there is no need of much repetition i i never told you that i never tell you that i give only one dose i repeated it okay uh, once in five days i think once in five days two doses after three uh, 13 days the sgpt comes down to normal and hbsg night so this is the importance of selecting a mineral remedy preferably anti symptomatic remedy when the common uh, pathological prescriptions fail to produce the result within the expected time there is a result patient was so happy it, it has come down from 3 300 to 1 170 something like that so uh, around half uh, it is come down patient is so happy but we are not happy why because we are running we are in a race you have to run before or or uh, you have to you have to or take the modern medicine modern medicine <coughs> they can't do anything and we are fixing our own, uh, our own time that patient allopathy treatment and homeopathy treatment for uh, uh, it is not advisable in hepatitis cases uh, it is better to stop if it is highly necessary uh, i i i i advise them to continue the medicine for diabetes aspirin in if prothrombin time is intact aspirin they can continue and hypertension medicine they can continue but for medicine for liver disease or other diseases especially the painkillers paracetamol nothing we won't allow because we have medicine that we are giving okay so basic protocol in chronic active hepatitis i can show you number of cases uh, i think our time is going to up so uh, chronic active hepatitis need anti symptomatic mineral remedies anti symptomatic mineral remedies so this is the protocol in chronic active hepatitis so if you can treat hepatitis b cases why can't you treat hepatitis c cases there is absolutely no cure at all and absolutely dangerous and absolutely dreadful disease the like either the hepatocellular carcinoma or cirrhosis is guaranteed in 100% case of hepatitis c cases uh, uh, they are helpless the modern the so called modern medicine uh those who are treating uh, corona than anything without any medicine they are absolutely helpless and they can't do anything in hepatitis c cases so take risk or lose a chance and this was uh, uh this was my options when i got hepatitis when we are treating hepatitis a cases then we will get a, a, get hepatitis b cases when we are treating and curing hepatitis b cases definitely there will be c cases so there is two options either you can take the risk there is chance of uh, worsening of the disease and the the fever people may blame you modern medicine may blame you it is only because of taking homeopathic medicines the patient developed hepatocellular hepatocellular carcinoma or cirrhosis like that but we, if you uh, leave the case if you are not taking the case you will lose a chance we are not supposed to lose a chance because we are not getting enough chances my dear friends so we have to beg for a chance so i took the case i have in hepatitis c case also this was a case of hepatitis c it was in the year 2004 i started treating hepatitis b cases in the year 2000 only just after four years i got a, a hepatitis c case with the serum ferritin 292 that is not the matter hepatitis c was positive alcoholic hepatitis was there and cirrhosis was there. so everybody is telling that cirrhosis is incurable this is counter counter signed by the modern medicine this is not my result this was counter signed by the modern medicine people and uh, the case was totally uh, incurable anyway as it is it was a hepatitis c cases i won't take the, the risk uh, i took the case in detail 
lot of things are there. I'm not going to explain the case in detail. Uh, some positive symptoms are there. Some negative symptoms are there. Alcoholism was there. Uh, death of uh, thoughts of death was there. All negatives are you can see in the second clipboard, and all positives in him you can see in the first clipboard. Uh, he started giving aura metallic. Okay, aura metallic. Thirty to two hundred progressively increasing. It's a progressively increasing disease. And I never prescribed the, the protocol in this case because it was my first case. Now I, I had developed a protocol even for repetitive C cases. Pathological prescription is enough. But at that time, I was not able to do like that because uh, it was a, my mandatory uh, first case. Just like I remember the case of Sheba. The first, first case of hepatitis B committed suicide. What is going to happen to uh, this second case? I was not in a position to take a risk. So I prescribe consciously. I believe in Hanuman. I believe in homeopathy. And or metallic increasing potency. HCV become negative after 81 days. Uh, that was a really uh, an exciting moment for me because uh, even though the first hepatitis B case committed suicide, the second hepatitis B become the first second uh, sorry the first hepatitis B cases become negative. The most unlucky man who stood on the best, best the stop. Looking to the uh, the other end to the hospital, blaming himself, unlucky, become happy, my dear friends. On that moment when I got a hepatitis C case as negative with it, our constitutional medicine and that too in potency. There is no medicinal content uh, after twelfth potency. Okay, so in thirty two hundred it become negative. Hepatitis C negative and orum at um, orum at thirty two one num just highly. Uh, the, the basic nature, basic thing of that uh, gentleman was he, he was uh, running a jewelry, a high gold man, uh, a man with high golds, uh, with the feeling of utter worthlessness, uh, and but he is smiling. Okay, this was constant. He has a lot of golds running a, a network of jewelries like that. I he sold three jewelries for treatment. And the doctor who treated he was the number one doctor who who is in South India who is treating still uh, transplanting liver. He told him, you, you you won't leave for more than 30 days and left him. Okay, and he he sold three jewelries, three jewelries, and uh, there is absolutely no scope at all. And that time he approached me, so I treated according to uh, our our uh, methodology, and I remember that there were. Uh, uh, Seminar consensus seminar at Kota Medical College regarding hepatitis B, and I was a presenter from uh, Homeopathy Path, and I got the last chance. And Ayurveda, when Ayurveda director from somewhere else, and uh, I told uh, I can't uh, say the name of the, the uh, even the gastroenterologist is the leading in the in uh, in South India, and he was presenting the uh, modern medicine part. And after his presentation, uh, I presented a lot of cases. Uh, not not this hepatitis B case and hepatitis B cases, cured cases. And what he told was that may be a wrong uh, lab result. That may be a mistake from the lab. That may not be a hepatitis B case. If it is a hepatitis B case, it won't get cured. And there is no treatment at all. So that may be a mistake happened in the lab. People ridiculed me. And people howled at me because all, all the other spectators are modern medicine uh, students and uh, uh, this school of medical education students. All the moderators are from the medical college. I am the only man. I, I was isolated by the, the other people. And after five years, after five years, when the Sandigiri uh, conducted a uh, UAE uh, health summit on hepatitis, again the same speaker was there. Again, I was the presenter in uh, in that seminar. And I UN Center was the uh, moderator. You won't allow more than 15 minutes to anybody, any presenter. Delegates from 132 countries were participating. Over more than uh, 4,000 delegates were participating in that seminar, and the same thing happened. The modern medicine people they told about the uh, they scared the people regarding uh, telling regarding the uh, uh, telling about the consequences of hepatitis B and all. And Ayurveda people as usual they told we, we have treatment but there is no document at all. And the last part I, I was I was presenting this case. This money's case I presented, a lot of cases I presented, and uh, in this money's case I, I didn't present it. And uh, after thank you slide, the question was, the more more vigorously people ask, why? Why? Because the the, the spectators the spectators are not from the modern medicine world. They asked 
these people are telling, this man is telling that I am only uh, 30 to 34 years at that age, I think, uh, or 36. Uh, this man is telling that he covered a number of cases of hepatitis B and he has shown the result also. And how and why you can say that uh, the, 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 there is no treatment in any system? Why they are asking like that? The Shantigiri is based upon Siddha medicine. They, they are conducting the, the program, they are, they are nourishing him than anything, that is why he presented the paper. Uh, and a lot of modern medicine doctors are also attending. So, so, uh, it is like that. Uh, that's a huge setup. Anyway, people ask us like that. He repeated the same uh, answer. That maybe a mistake happened in the, uh, uh, in the lab, laboratory. Then I uh, asked a permission to the, uh, to the moderator. Sir, I have a counterpoint. Uh, shall I get two minutes? Uh, he told me, no, no, no. You may, I told him, this is a counter to what he said. I have proof with me. Okay, then one minute, he told me. So, okay, I, I just presented this case and show all the results. And this patient was sitting in the uh, hall. And the, uh, when, when I presented, uh, finished my presentation, I told him, you told that, uh, that, that may happen, uh, the mistake may happen in the laboratory. It is from your hospital, my dear friend. It is from your hospital. They invested costs and core rupees for the, uh, the multi-specialty hospital at Kochi. It is from your hospital. Either you have to uh, uh, admit that your laboratory is substandard, or you have to commit that, or you have to admit that homeopathy is effective. There is no other option for him to admit that homeopathy is effective. So this is the history of this case. That is why I am telling. Uh, I told you about the ornament. That is why he saw, He told. He sold his three jewelries for the treatment. Okay. I, I charged only the. I think. 2000 rupees or something like that. Okay, so even in, in this disaster with the high goals, with the desperation, he's speaking. This was a, an additional in, in from a, a indication. Mind smiling, you already speaking when he's smiling. Uh, so, this is a constitutional prescription, not that much uh, repetition. Only one or more, only one or two doses, I think. That is gradually, gradually it is increasing. Uh, it was increased and okay. So, uh, appearance be negative after 83 days. So, there is no cirrhosis at all. Still, he is leaving. Still, he is leaving. He is ready to give the testimonial anywhere. Still, he is leaving. leaving. So, it happened in the year 2004. And uh, it is 16 years. There is no, no liver pathology. So, that was oramed. This is the, uh, the scope of homeopathy. Okay. So, cancer is a word, not a sentence. So I think the time is up. Post, can you hear me? Uh, yes, sir. Sir, I think we can continue for five minutes. Then we can have five to ten minutes question answer session. Okay. So so we will stop here and. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So any participants who are having any questions, they can put in the chat box and the participants who are watching us in the YouTube, they can put the questions in the YouTube chat box. So this is only uh, two parts we finished and uh, the more dangerous uh, uh, things we have to discuss. Anyway, you may, you will get uh, this ebook in Amazon and evidence space of the treatment protocol for hepatitis B and other viral hepatitis. So all the uh, all the, uh, the, the cancers, how to manage the cancer, how to manage the carrier stage. Uh, carrier stage is it's quite difficult to manage. All these protocols are there in the, this is what I told you when, when you invite me for a hepatitis B case uh, presentation. Uh, it will take a, a three hours, a minimum of three hours to present the, the whole thing. If time permits, uh, I will come back and I will uh, explain all the things in, in, a, in some time of tomorrow. Uh, I think uh, in, uh, if we get time. Okay, let us move forward uh, for, the, for the questions. Okay, let us discuss the questions. So I couldn't see all the all the questions in the chat box. Somebody has to uh, please repeat the question, and then I will answer. So one question is there: Magmur is for low platelet count. Yes, no. Magmur is for low platelet count means that is the low platelet count will, is the is an indication of liver parenchymal changes. 
magnesium muriaticum is a medicine for liver parenchymal diseases and most probably there will be uh, some constipation like symptoms uh, because of because of the uh, development of portal congestion there will be hemorrhoids in the uh, in uh, what we call the rectum so these are the symptoms uh, actually it is not for increasing the parietal count for increasing parietal count the x ray is uh, enough but uh, to uh, to uh, regenerate or to regenerate the liver pathology so that is why mike more is prescribing not for increasing the uh, parietal count okay so awesome. what is next Yes, sir. Another question is there. What are the causes for infantile hepatitis splenomegaly and remedies to manage? Infantile splenomegaly is a, a, a separate entity, and infantile uh, uh, this uh, bile duct atresia, infantile splenomegaly, infantile hepatomegaly, all these things things are usually it is autoimmune, and some genetic reasons are there. Uh, so it has to be managed uh, in a different manner. It, it is a management protocol of genetic disorders. and some in some cases there may be pathology in the in the mother also then again we have to uh, then then only we can prescribe pathology otherwise it has to be treated genetically uh, constitutionally uh, means uh, genetic constitutionally no source has to be prescribed okay next question sir another question is there only constitution medicine is enough or we need to give other medicine along with constitution medicine yeah yes sir that is a good question Uh, i prescribed i failed in lot of cases also uh, uh, there is no death at all uh, the constitutional medicine where there are certain cases that is not to be treated that that is told by uh, dr henman pathologically advanced cases and uh, artificial chronic diseases which is spoiled by the modern system we are getting most of the diseases after spoiling with the modern medicine so it is a drug disease actually what henman said is ne never prescribe any medicine why because it is incurable but in some case in such cases also we have to reverse the pathology that is why we are giving the pathology prescription in the beginning we have to make the cure rate at least 51 that was our, our cure rate that, that was our target uh, when we begin and now uh, we are moving forward to 90 uh, plus 90 percent plus so to improve the uh, the pathology we have to do the pathology prescription also we cannot wait for uh, the action of the constitution medicine in every case but in some cases you can that is according to the condition of the patient the most of the cases is uh, is drastically ill and dangerously ill and uh, intensely ill that is why i am prescribing uh, pathology uh, i am giving pathology prescription to okay next next question is what about jaundice protocol in newborn infants child groups no need of uh, heavy protocol in, in infantile uh, this what we call the ictus neonatum i am giving chamomile one hour two doses why because uh, it is having alternative action chamomile one hour two doses and uh, another medicine is uh, lupulus lupulus tincture i am not prescribing lupulus tincture for the uh, kids uh, if it is uh, coming down within five days and checking uh, checking their blood is not easy yeah, because it's a kid and the mother will be and if it crosses 20 then uh, you have to send the patient for the uh, cross matching and all if there is any incompatibility if it is below uh, 20 is better to prescribe chamomile one hour and lupulus if it is not reducing uh, even after 7 days okay, that is enough that is a protocol that is only protocol next okay sir another question is if the patient is present with other systemic disease along with hepatitis how to manage that okay Uh, that is a good question that is what i told you uh, if patient is constantly under modern medicine treatment for treatment for diabetes hypertension like that or cardiac disease they can continue uh, uh, that medicine along with our medicine otherwise if uh, if it is a chronic active hepatitis you can uh, give a constitutional med medicine and th that part we did in uh, discuss in, in this uh, session why because while we are treating uh, uh, this what we call chronic iris state there is no symptom at all what we are doing if there is other symptom like sinusitis or uh, hyperlipidemia I, i i can show you a case uh, treated for hyperlipidemia with carcharia car and you treat for that disease in turn the hepatitis b will become negative but if it is in acute uh, hepatitis condition you have to treat the uh, acute hepatitis only with our medicine and if they are under other treatment they can continue the treatment if they are uh, not under our uh, 
other treatment then you have to give the drugs only uh, during the if, if the patient is having diabetes mellitus you can give very well give uranium nitric along with uh, a medicine for uh, hepatitis b then only you can manage that is a, uh, that is an what is next okay sir all types of jaundice your protocol sir wbc increases fever condition homeopathic management okay uh, jaundice with fever I, i think they are asking for jaundice with uh, fever condition so the wbc increases uh, along with that the platelet count decreases or the wbc intact and platelet count decrease that means <coughs> it is a viral infection maybe uh, this uh, dengue maybe uh, this uh, chikungunya maybe uh, chikungunya maybe uh, hepatitis like that so the platelet reduction and the wbc intact or increase doesn't matter and if it is infective with uh, Yeah, much WBC, more than 12,000, more than 18,000, with uh, intact protective count. That means it is a super-added uh, bacterial infection along with the viral infection. Okay? That time, to reduce the temperature, what I am giving is pyrogen. Pyrogen 200 I am giving to reduce the temperature. And we'll find out what are the, uh, the, the other conditions. I got cases, uh, uh, simultaneous occurrence of the hepatitis B along with uh, typhoid. I diagnosed the typhoid. Uh, so i prescribe another medicine because uh, there is not time to uh, wait for an action of the constitutional medicine when the patient is contracted simultaneously contracted uh, jaundice uh, in in a uh, drastic manner in a, in, a, in an advanced manner along with uh, typhoid so uh, there is absolutely no time to wait for an action of the constitutional medicine if you are if the patient is under your treatments for another disease which is which got cured with a, a, a medicine for asthma you are treating lacasis which is cured with uh, lacasis and uh, he is having diabetes that is also cured with lacasis then you can prescribe lacasis the because we convinced that this, this is the constitution medicine and the other end we are not uh, sure about the action of this medicine there is no uh, time for taking a chance that will endanger the life of the patient and that will spoil the reputation of our system also if a case is died in in modern medicine that is a defect of that hospital only if a patient is died under homeopathy treatment the defect will be on the shoulders of the entire homeopathy doctor that is why uh, i suggest uh, give other medicine that's the better option next yes, so another question what are the dietary habits should follow while okay. treating hepatitis yes sir. so uh, I, i was prepared to tell it in the uh, in the end part it is better to avoid all the uh, fatty food why because to uh, to emulsify fat the bile has to produce so whether it is due to the intake of the bile we uh, intake of the fat the bile is increasing or not uh, we cannot uh, assess that is the one thing and there will be indigestion also and uh, it is better to avoid all the all the fat and the fried food and there is absolutely no need of avoiding the salt if there is no itching at all if there is there is itching you can avoid the salt or reduce salt otherwise you can take anything and everything no problem and it's better to avoid fried items and fatty foods and all the foods if it is virgin if it is uh, uh, polluted with the pesticides it is better to avoid fresh fruits they can take except pineapple uh, i don't know what is the reason uh, after taking pineapple in some cases the bellrubin uh, is raised okay that is all okay sir another question is there hepatomegaly in pcod cases okay that that has to be uh, hepatomegaly uh, may not be happen as a uh, complication of pcod usually it won't happen and there may be gynecomastia in, in hepatic disease it uh, it has to be treated constitutionally if, if if there is a hepatomegaly only that is not a dangerous condition it is better to uh, take the case in detail and prescribe uh, a, an anti psychotic remedy because both are both are uh, zoli both are uh, allergic so podophyllum is one of the remedy for the uh, pcod podophyllum that is one you can see in the repertory also and podophyllum is the, one of the best remedy for liver disease also so, uh, the symptom is constantly rubbing on the liver region there is no need of rubbing on the rubbing on the liver region podophyllum is only one drug uh, which is having the pain in the liver podophyllum uh, will hold on the region of the liver so podophyllum one of the best remedy for simultaneous occurrence of the pcod along with the uh, hepatitis Okay, I will have to make it. Okay, yes. Uh, sir, I think many more questions are coming, and I think we are out of time, sir. Okay, okay. So, sir, can we give your email ID here so people can put the questions in the email ID, sir? Uh, 
Okay. Uh, shall I uh, give it in chat or? Yes, sir. You can put in the chat box, sir. Okay, I'll put it in chat. One second. Let me put it in chat. It is dr d for d r b i j u g n a i r at g mail dot com and you may whatsapp to my phone number nine double four seven one two eight seven double nine so i'll respond and thank you very much uh, for your patient hearing uh, we winded it but uh, winded it uh, in the in the in the midst anyway uh, but i think <coughs> Uh, you got the braveness to take and treat the, treat the case of hepatitis B. Why? Because two crore people are waiting in the uh, in India for your treatment, and it is now 9:15. Around 50 people died all over the world due to hepatitis B, my dear friend. If there is an an answer with us, if the remedy is resting in your racks, in your clinic, why can't you give it? Why can't you take, take the challenge and prove the efficacy of homeopathy? And prove the efficacy of homeopathy more than, little bit more than uh, the existing modern system. I would like to call it as Western system. So, <clears throat> so our system is also a Western system. So which is a better system? You have to prove it. I think uh, you will take the challenges. We take the responsibility. Thank you very much for your patient hearing. How to host for the winding up formality. Uh, I think we can conclude the session, sir. I'd like to hand over Hanya for the vote of thanks. Good evening, everyone. I, on behalf of Alva's Homeopathic Medical College and student council, Hello. It's in a very hearty thanks to the Honorable Dr. S. G. Biju for the informative and inspiring. You are really enlightened with your knowledge and experience and valuable time. Our heartfelt thanks to our Hello. Yeah, 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 you can continue. Hello. Hearing, hearing. Audible, continue. Hello? Yeah, yeah, Hanya, you, you can continue. It's all. Sorry? Yeah, you can continue. It's Excuse audible. Excuse Heartfelt thanks for Our heartfelt thanks to our attendees for active participation. With this, we hope to forward to see all in upcoming sessions. Thank you, everyone, and good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you to all the participants.